Hello, my name is Amir Muhammad, and the artwork I'm going to be evaluating is the Dome of the Rock. It is owned by the Ministry of Okaf Islamic Affairs and Holy Places. Muslims consider the Dome of the Rock the third holiest shrine in Islam, after the Mosque of the Prophet in Medina and the Kaaba in Mecca. The Dome of the Rock is one of the earliest major monuments of Islamic architecture to survive. It's holiness and its extraordinary decoration make it a major monument of world architecture and one of the most important sites in Islam. The Prophet Muhammad is the last prophet sent by Allah to teach monotheism, which means belief in one God. Um, it was previously preached by Prophet Adam, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and other prophets. The Prophet Muhammad was believed to be carried from the sacred rock in Mecca to the further, farthest mosque in Jerusalem on a creature called Al-Burak with the company of an archangel named Gabriel. There he led a prayer to the prophets of God. Then the angel Gabriel took him to the heavens where he met the prophets Adam, John, Jesus, Idris, Aaron, and Moses, peace be upon them. In the seventh heaven, he met the prophet Abraham. During this time, Allah ordered for Muhammad's followers 50 daily prayers. On the Prophet's return, Prophet Moses told him that his followers could not perform 50 daily prayers. So the Prophet went back and eventually got it reduced to only 5 daily prayers. Jerusalem is the home of the Dome of the Rock and the home of many religions. In Judaism, Jerusalem was considered the center of the world where God resided. In Christianity, it is where Jesus Christ was brought occasionally as a child preached to the poor in his adult life, crucified in the end of his life, and resurrected by God. According to a tradition, Prophet Muhammad chose Jerusalem as the, the Qibla, the direction the Muslim should face during prayer. But the Prophet redirected his followers to face the city of Mecca when praying to symbolize Islam's indifference from the other monotheistic religions. They had chosen Jerusalem as their most holy city. Jerusalem has been fought for and bled for from all three of these religions for thousands of years. After the Prophet Muhammad passed away, peace be upon him, in 632 AD from a brief illness, there was some conflict among his followers. They argued about who should take over as leader of the religion. Abu Bakr was Muhammad's close friend and father-in-law. He was chosen as the first Muslim Caliph, which is a political and spiritual leader of Islam. Abu Bakr was also Muhammad's first convert. He expanded, conquered a lot of land, and gained followers. After Abu Bakr passed away, a series of different Caliphs took up the leadership and it eventually came up to Abd al-Malik ibn Marwan. As Caliph, Abd al-Malik ibn Marwan announced plans to build the Dome of the Rock over the Sacred Rock on the Temple Mount in AD 688. Construction of the Dome of the Rock began in 688 and finished around 691 AD. Now it is considered the oldest Islamic monument in the world and the most recognizable. The actual architects were Raja ibn Hayya and Yazid ibn Salam. Raja ibn Haywa was a Muslim theologian from Beit Shihan, which is a Middle Eastern village in Palestine. And Yazid ibn Salam was a non Arab who was Muslim. He was from Baisan, another Middle Eastern village. They both were instructed by Abd al Malik ibn Marwan to begin the construction of the Dome of the Rock. The Dome of the Rock was originally created as a shelter for pilgrims rather than a mosque. Muslims prayed in Al Aqsa Mosque that was less than a mile south of the dome and used the dome as shelter. A few years later, it was used as a place of worship for all Muslims, male and female. Today, the Dome of the Rock is still used as a place of worship 
but only for Muslim women. The men pray in Al-Aqsa Mosque. The architecture for the Dome of the Rock resembles the Byzantine Christian architecture known for its dome churches. The dome was originally covered with gold, but the gold was later replaced with lead and then with aluminum. Now it is covered with brass plates and gold leaf. The, oct the octagonal lower structure is faced with marble panels and glazed tiles with inscriptions from the Quran that cover the lower structure. Jews believe the sacred rock of the shrine was where Abraham prepared to sacrifice his son Isaac. Let's take a look at the Arabic writing on the outer octagonal arcade. It is mostly Islamic scriptions from the Quran. On the south side of the wall, it says, In the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate, there is no God but God. He is one, he is no associate. Say, He is God, the one. Muhammad is the messenger of God, the blessing of God be upon him. On the southwest side of the wall, it says, In the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate, there is no God but God. He is one. He is no associate. Muhammad is the messenger of God. God and his angels shower blessings on the prophet. On the west side of the wall, he says, O ye who believe, ask blessings on him and salute him. Salutation. In the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate, there is no God but God. He is one. On the northwest side of the wall, it says, God who has not taken unto himself a son, who hath not no partner in severity, nor not he any protecting friend through dependence, and magnify him with magnificence. Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. On the north side of the wall, it says, God, the blessing of God be upon him and the angels, and peace be upon him, and may God have mercy. In the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate, there is no God but God. He is one, he is no associate. On the northeast side of the wall, it says, Unto him belongeth severity, and unto him belongeth praise. They're all very similar to each other, so I don't really have to explain all of them, but you kind of get the idea. On top of the dome sits an upright crescent moon which is a symbol of Islam and is facing north-south, which is towards Mecca, which is the directions Muslims face during prayer. There are four entrances on the wall, on the Dome of the Rock. It's basically the west door, north door, east door, and south door. The names of the doors are Bab al gharb which is the west door, Bab al gharb that is the west door, and that is the main entrance. Everybody enters from the west door. The north door is called Door to Paradise. The east door is called David's Gate of Judgment. The south door is called Bab al Qibla. You cannot enter the mosque from any other door but the west door. All the other doors are locked. All doors are supported by Roman engaged arts. The artwork I chose was a photograph of the Sydney Opera Theater. I chose it because it is very similar to the Dome of the Rock because of its unique design and beautiful architecture uh, which make it one of the most recognizable buildings in the world. It is a huge tourist attraction because of its unique design and I believe that is very similar to the reason the Dome of the Rock gets so many tourists. I have two questions. How many architects actually built the Dome of the Rock? And what shape is the lower structure of the shrine? This is my work cited. I got all the links and some of the author's names. Feel free to open any of these links.